I was talking to uh, to a lady who separated with a husband, and um, I was like, I was really uh, feeling bad about their relationship. I was like, what really happened? I saw he was hardworking. Um, he was good looking. What really happened between the two of you? You people looked good together, and she told me. There are so many things I've always kept to myself about him. There are so many things that he used to do. And sometime, uh, and time came, I felt I couldn't stand them anymore. So I asked her, why did you wait? You waited when he was broke, you were there. You waited, he got the money, you were there. He bought a house, you were there. You know, life is no good, now you're leaving. Why? He was like, she was like, the guy used to drink a lot. Um, so time came. <laughs> he gave me, she gave me a, a, an example, a, a story that I really felt I also couldn't stand. He told me there was a time. Uh, there was a time the guy came back drunk. He used to come back drunk every time, and she could carry him and all that. So it had reached an extent where he could come back. Um, in outside, outside the compound where the children are playing. He gets his susu out, he pees. When the babies, his own daughters, are seeing. Uh, she said, so I, if maybe if I couldn't do it for myself, but now that I have children, I realize they have to do it. If I can't do it for me, let me do it for the children. Why am I sharing this story now is um, women. We keep having this thing uh, at the beginning of relationships because we are desperate to settle. You're like, I'll change him. I'll change that man. You know? I'll do something about it. I'll pray for him. Yeah? I, I know I'll change him. I can't change him. He showed you that he drinks uncontrollably. And you're like, yes, I'll change him. I'll pray for him. You went in for him because you thought you could change him. My darling, I'm here to tell you that no matter how beautiful you think you are, no matter how educated you are, never sit there and convince yourself that you can change a man. A man will change when they want to. They will change when they feel like it's time to change. They will change when they see reason to. Some of us are be there thinking you'll change someone about a, a, a certain thing he has done all his life. Hmm? So if I'm talking about a drunkard here, you could find that this person's grannies and grannies and grannies have always been drinking. He was a boy and he was drinking. He became a youth, he was drinking. He's now old enough. And you think you're just going to change him just like that. Hmm? You think you're going to change him just like that? Oh, darling sister. I pity you. Talk about the things you're not comfortable with. Uh, day one. It might not be day one, but at the beginning, at the foundation of your relationship. Talk about the things you can't stand. If it's disrespect, talk about it. If it's drunkenness, talk about it. Yeah? If it's cheating, tell him at the foundation of that relationship. Let him sort himself when the relationship is still young. When nobody has wasted each other's time. You haven't wasted his time, he hasn't wasted your time yet. But these things of you sitting there and be like, ah, I'll change him. You know, I'll pray about it. You know, I'm prayerful. You know, even my friend so-and-so had a, a, a man who used to do such and such a thing. But she prayed about it and she changed him. Oh, I'll go, I'll use witchcraft on him and he will change. Darling, do you know how many women have tried? And, and things still haven't worked. So don't join that group. Don't join that group. At the beginning of a relationship, because you really love that person, you find them spotless. Even something big, you say as if it's something small. Someone drinks the whole night. They stay out the whole night drinking. And because you're desperate for marriage and he has money, you're like, oh, uh, and, and then I can't miss out on a good man. Oh, because of alcohol. 
you reach home, you realize that every time he comes home, he's vomiting all over the house when the children are seeing. Now you're like, ah, I can't take this. What did you expect? So you always thought this guy drinks the whole night and doesn't go back to his home. Or he should not come back home because he, he's from drinking a lot. Let's not settle for what we can't. Let's not settle for uncomfortable. Let's not settle because we are desperate. Settle because, yeah, I really feel like I can, I can play my cards with this person. If it's a bet, I can give in my all and try out this. But things that have been evident from, from beginning... My darling, do not miss those signs. Do not ignore those signs. Time is going to come and you'll be like, but how did I miss out on this? When it's already too late, when you have three children, or when you're pregnant, when you've already had a wedding. Mm -hmm. So let's be careful on the things we can't stand from the beginning. From the foundation of this relationship let's let's state out the things we can't settle for be clear be understood let the person they be like ah can you know but you've you've started your facts then keeping quiet because you know he's so handsome oh you know he provides oh you know he does this reaching there you're like ah How did I miss out on this? You know? Otherwise, if you do not know, do the needful uh, when the relationship is still young, we are going to be here to counsel you as relationship experts. And of course, not, uh, not, not free of charge at a cost. And uh, you wouldn't want that. But still, we shall be here. And we shall say we warned you. So you cannot change anyone. I came to tell you, my darling sister, you can't change a man. If there is something, if there is something he's really addicted to, tell, talk about it at the foundation of the relationship. He will show you whether he can try. You know, there is some, someone trying. He has an addiction of someone, of something. But they are trying, they are showing you that they are trying to let go. Because it's also not easy to let go of, some, of a habit just like that, no. But when someone puts in an effort and they try, you will see it. But then there is someone who will be like, ah, I can't change for a woman, damn, I can't. If she can't stand me, let her go. And that's the person you're, you're here telling us, telling us, oh, I'm going to change him, I'm going to pray for him, you're not God and you're not his mom and maybe even his parents tried and they failed so who are you your beauty won't change a man they won't change what he's thinking they won't change his actions your books won't do it your experience won't do it your money won't do it I hope I'm communicating Otherwise, I hope you people are having a good Ramadan, a good Eid Mubarak. Thank you very much for watching. It's been Elma here, and uh, yeah, have a lovely rest of the Eid day and enjoy yourselves. <laughs>